welcome back to another video of mr blockchain 22's channel today we are going to be talking about constellation i have been talking about in my other videos that i was going to make a video of this project i'm very very bullish on i'm very excited today to bring you this information if the video gets too long which it probably will i'm going to have to split it in two sessions so this will be part one and there's going to be a part two continuation of it so i want to show you my sinfin mr blockchain 22 shirt hoodie so pretty excited about it all right let's start with the cybersecurity for data now we are going to be talking about what is constellation and i'm going to show you this short video it's actually not really short; it's about five minutes but it's very very important and it really talks about what constellation is doing for big data in cybersecurity. we're also going to talk about the lattice exchange we are going to explain what exactly is layer zero in blockchain and that pertains to constellation uh, we're going to see the featured partners we also going to look at the recent news and where to find this information we also going to talk about the network and protocol of constellation the spore platform the dag token and the price of dag running a note in the requirements for it the stargazer wallet and the recent partnership that i'm very very bullish on so if you like this project stay tuned to it and i'll be showing you all this in my video so let's start okay so cybersecurity for big data constellation allows you to implement cybersecurity and actually security and audibility for complex data sets without changing existing it infrastructure it's secure cost effective scalable and easy to integrate so let's start this short video so you can understand a little bit more of what constellation is all about the world is constantly changing civilization continues to reach new heights and it's happening faster than ever the world we knew 20 years ago is almost unrecognizable Today, we are in the midst of the fourth industrial revolution, a new era in which the boundaries between the digital and the physical world are blurring. The rapidly growing utilization of new technologies has ushered in an era of global digital transformation. It is changing the way we work, the way we live, and the way we relate to one another. A revolution which is on its way to impact all disciplines, industries, and economics shaping the future of our civilization. A future in which the amount of generated data will be growing exponentially. 90% of the data that exists in the world today has been created in just the last few years alone. It has become the new oil. New technologies designed for big data are therefore going to be vital as the world's infrastructure is not prepared for this exponential growth rate. Until now, Constellation embraces this future and has built a technology crucial for what lies ahead. Not too long ago, the invention of distributed ledger technology opened the door to limitless new possibilities such as the creation of trustless decentralized money, Bitcoin, as well as platforms for smart contracts and computation, Ethereum. However, these only scratch the surface of what is possible with DLT. Constellation's network, Hypergraph, is the world's first DLT for big data. It's a directed acyclic graph, DAG, and the next evolution in DLT, which significantly expands upon the capabilities of blockchains. Hypergraph is different to all other decks in that it scales horizontally, it scales infinitely, and it's designed to handle all of the world's data. There's absolutely no limit. 
Constellation's world-class engineers realized that the answers to the most unsolvable problems could be found by examining the design of nature itself. Hypergraph is architected to mimic the design of nature, and through that, Constellation managed to solve true scalability, the greatest challenge in DLT. The decentralized open source protocol, Hypergraph Transfer Protocol, has set a new standard. A standard to securely use, transfer, manage, monetize, audit, and validate data at truly limitless scale. Not only that, but like the internet, this technology is designed to work and connect with every device and with all data types, even the most complex data. With limitless new possibilities come limitless new threat factors and risks. All of our personal data is harvested and sold, leaving us with nothing in return. Worse yet, most of the world's data is unsecured, a risk of becoming bad data, spoof data, or stolen data. This affects us all, every entity from militaries, governments, and businesses to everyday people. The problems can be truly endless, and the cost and risks would be terrifying. By working very closely with the US DOD, federal government, major enterprises, academia, and blockchain companies, Constellation is ensuring mass adoption, providing the world's best data cybersecurity, preventing catastrophes, cutting costs, and enabling full control over data. As for all of our data that gets harvested and sold, Constellation has the perfect solution. Constellation is enabling users through a very user-friendly wallet to finally be able to control all of their data in one hub and sell it to whomever they please. We call these users datapreneurs, and they are the pioneers of the new data economy and of a new source of income. So as we look forward to what lies ahead, we can assure you, Constellation is here to serve all our data needs worldwide, now and in the future. That is really, really impressive. And the video was well put together. So, all right, let's move on. So um, the wallet that they're mentioning is the Stargazer wallet. And as you can see, they have a different approach to blockchain. It's a software infrastructure tool that removes the financial and organizational cost of insecure data pipeline and bad data. It provides a secure and type proof audit trail that simultaneously validates your data, allowing early visibility for data management teams into downstream issues, preventing bad logic across automated systems. So they talk about big data validation, big data notarization, and scalable interoperability. So they have these three sections, the network and protocol, sport platform, and the DAC token. So before I move on, I want to talk about real quick about the Lattice Exchange. Lattice Exchange is an incubated by Constellation Network Inc. Constellation is a decentralized network and layer zero solution. Uh, I'm going to talk about what this is in a minute. Lattice Exchange uses Constellation's layer zero solution to provide streaming consensus that is scalable, zero transaction fees, and secure. Before I continue talking about Lattice, I want to ensure that you understand how layer zero is important to Constellation ecosystem. Uh, for the internet, right, this, this is where everything started. So there are seven layers of the OSI model, and you don't have to really understand all this if you, if you don't. But technically, when you use the internet, you start at the physical layer and everything that you do on the internet goes through all the seven layers up and down. So when you are sitting at your computer, this is your physical, right? And it goes to the data link, which is your ethernet, you know, switch bridges and all that. The network is the packets being sent through the network, the I, you know, IP, ICMP, IPsec and all those transport the tcp udp these are different protocols just like the you know each blockchain has their own protocol or it's its own protocol 
uh, the session, API, sockets, WinSock, presentation, you know, SSL, SSH, IMAP, FTP, these are other protocols and uh, extensions like JPEG, you know, like pictures and MPEG for videos and stuff like that. And the application layer, uh, the end user layer. This is where, um, this is kind of like your browser, your uh, Outlook email, things like that. So you have seven layers here. Now, if we move to blockchain, blockchain has layers as well. And as it says here, blockchain a, and a complex is a complex infrastructure as the internet it runs on. Thankfully, it does not pose as many layers. So the OSI model goes from physical interaction to final application. Now, layer zero, to borrow an analogy from Aswath Balakrishnan of marketcycles.com, oh, that was a tough name. Think of layers in terms of clothing. Layer one is your shirt. It's the main chain of your outfit. Layer zero is the undershirt. It keeps you warm, but nobody really, you know, can really see it. It's doing in, you know, it's doing anything. So layer zero can be considered a bridge between the internet and the physical world and blockchain. Remember that blockchain technology is not all software. It involves physical network infrastructure, like the mining components of uh, proof of work and the storage, etc., that allows complex technology like blockchain function. Like uh, layer zero is the basement that is never seen, but is as important as the building itself. So. Layer zero is the foundation of constellation. So these are the people behind constellation. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to read every single name, but I've listened to this guy on some of the constellation uh, videos that they that they make every almost feels like once a week. But Ben Jargensen is a brilliant, brilliant guy. I've listened to his videos, how he breaks it down. And if you want to listen to some of the videos, you can find them on YouTube. Moving on, the Constellation Networking Protocol is a distributed ledger technology known as a direct protocol with a novel reputation based consensus model called proof of reputable observation. The Constellation Network. The Constellation Network is a collection of microservices called state channels, where each state channel validates specific data types with these user-defined validation functions. The state channels form a distributed network architecture that can accommodate real-world big data use cases. Developers can integrate state channels directly into existing applications, allowing for direct E2E security and minimal seamless deployment. So you have different channels and the DAC node is part of it and the channel hybrid node is also part of it to form the entire network. The constellation protocol, you can see the description here. You have the network, the nodes and the data. The constellation network is powered by a secure communication protocol designed for wide open network and concurrency. Our vision was not achievable with traditional consensus models. Therefore, we built Pro from the ground up, incorporating machine learning to balance our complex network topology with a performance-based approach to validate our rewards. Our protocol relies on a P2P reputation system called Proof of Reputable Observation, PRO, that serves as a, our consensus model while simultaneously optimizing network topology. These are the core elements of the constellation network, the architecture, the consensus model, the null validators slash miners, and application support. The application interface, our SPORE application interface, uses functional programming techniques from type theory to verify stateful composition of state channels, allowing for map-reduced streaming queries across state channels to be verified and validated. DAG is our final state channel. This allows us to solve the oracleization problem for physical devices and APIs by creating a digital twin, associating data produced to a public key and direct the E to E, which means end to end validation. So uh, I don't want to read, you know, every single page to you, but on the constellation network.io, all of this is described here, cryptographically secure, 
and that's this is their difference consensus as a service simplicity scalability and speed what is the sport platform sport is cancellation security data validation and notarization across big data initiatives like artificial intelligence enterprise software and age computing iot and mobility uh this one and a half one minute and 15 seconds video i'm going to play for you it's very important um, but it's a powerful enterprise solution. Listen up. Today, big data runs our world with IoT, mobile devices, and AI. The more connected we are, the more data that's created. But more data can mean more problems because a connected world is only as good as the data that goes into it. And most data is unsecure. Bad data and digital security breaches cost the U.S. economy over $3 trillion each year and cost your organization valuable resources. Because bad data leads to bad decisions, and those lead to compounded mistakes further upstream. That's where Spore Technologies comes in. We prevent corrupt data from entering your system and creating bad logic. By integrating with existing tech stacks, we provide early visibility into your data pipelines with an added layer of validation and security. So that's what Spores do. It filters out bad data and only allows the good data to enter your network. Uh, state channels and microservices. The Constellation Network is composed of microservices called state channels, each of which process, processes its own custom data types and validates with end user defined functions. The application interface uses functional programming techniques from the type theory to verify stateful query and composition across state channels at the type level. This allows for state channels to be defined as map reduced streaming jobs across the data services and other state channels. Uh, the Spore use case, multi domain command and control, and the model based system engineering is described here. And you can read the use cases here if you decide to do so when you visit the website. The DAG token. Technically speaking, DAG is the financial state channel of the Constellation Network. It allows the seamless exchange and in, in, in interaction between the various state channels and nodes that make up the network. DAG binds the components of the network together and enables them to relate to each other. There are two, uh, there's one token with two purposes. The one purpose is to that while Bitcoin does not provide utility besides the store of value, DAG provides a second functional value as a tokenized throughput and bandwidth in the constellation network at the same time basic real limited functionality will remain free allowing users to send single transactions for one of p2p payments person to person for any serious data processing or data exchange process more throughput is needed this is acquired through DAC micropayments or by contributing resources as a node operator of the network that allows the attribution of value to data. It does not matter if it's a single packet, package or data or an entire data stream that is traded in real time on an event basis. It enables a decentralized data market place for the data economy. The functions of DAG, you can see the description here. We saw this picture before. The use case, uh, we read this before, is a uh, state, it, it's a uh, constellation network is composed of DAG nodes, state channel nodes, and hybrid nodes, nodes performing consensus from multiple multiple state channels and DAG. The output, it is important to understand that the, con the contrast of classical blockchain solutions, the constellation network architecture is based on the idea of microservices. That means that as a network adoption grows, different types of applications specific to task specific hybrid nodes are foreseeable. Uh, one very important thing that I wanted to point out is uh, there were 4 billion DAG tokens that were initially minted, but due to a commitment to a more decentralized uh, decentralization, the Constellation founders opted to burn 288 million DAG tokens. So right now, according to the website Constellation Network.io, the total supply of DAG is 3, actually, 3 billion, so you have 712 million tokens. Uh, the circulating supply is 1 billion, 95 million, 398,230. This is the market cap. So 
looking at the price of the constellation token right now it's right at under seven cents so this is very important to know because if you are in blockchain in crypto to create passive income constellation network has nodes that you can run for the network and it requires 250,000 DAG tokens and around this price we're looking at about $18,000 for as an investment again this is not financial advice channel so I'm just providing the information as I come across and by me mentioning the price, I'm just making you aware that that is the price of the token. I'm not suggesting you should go and buy it. I'm not suggesting you should go and run a node. I'm just suggesting that you do your own research. Now, moving to the node section. Running a node, the registration, even though the website says it's not open, it's not really open. The original nodes, there are about a hundred nodes that are running on the network currently but they are for the foundation, not necessarily for the retail investors. That is gonna change in quarter three when they go live and they start allowing retail investors to run nodes. And the foundation nodes, the main net will launch with up to 100 foundation nodes, which I already said that they're already up and running. Applicants will be selected based on a set of criteria to best align with the trajectory of the constellation network. This already happened. so. The align priorities. Applicants will be selected based on a set of criteria that best aligns with the con with the trajectory of the constellation network and global distribution. Focus and stability. Although the constellation nodes are built to be lightweight, the initial operators will be running a full node in order to maintain stability across the node clusters. So currently on the network, there are nodes that are running, there are full nodes that are running, maintaining the network because the network is live. Now like I said, they're going to open up applications in quarter three for people to run nodes. And these are the requirements. Hardware servers is going to need a four gigabyte memory, 160 gigabytes of disk space and four CPU. If you're doing it on a VPS or a virtual private server, kind of like Volter with all these other nodes that are, have run in the, the pack and the Gala nodes, each one have the requirements. A VPS service allows you to configure your server. So if you're going to be doing that, these are the requirements, as I said. So right here, you can see that it's pretty much almost the same. Four CPUs, 3.6 gigabytes of memory. And the application, the, the location for applicants can be located in any part of the world. So anybody can request to run a node meeting these requirements and also hiring the 250,000 DAG tokens. If you want to read the node operator's handbook, it is right here. It has all the details on how to run it. The repository for the node is in GitHub. I attempted to run it myself following the instructions on the node operator's handbook and I was not allowed to get what I needed from GitHub as I was running the commands on the server. So like I said, that's not open right now. It's going to be open in quarter three. Stargazer. What is Stargazer? Stargazer is the wallet that Constellation has deployed. It's a cross-chain functional wallet to the future of a cross-chain inoperability. It's a wallet in a browser extension that can hold and transact your DAG tokens. This is what it looks like as, a, as the extension. Uh, it's kind of similar to what um, MetaMask looks like. So Stargazer Wallet was created by Stardust Collective, a decentralized open source organization with members from all around the world, including Amsterdam, Dubai, San Francisco, Singapore, and Sydney. The Stardust Collective's work focuses around producing companion DApps, decentralized applications, and tools built on Constellation's Hypergraph network. This is where you go to download Stargazer. I have it running not on this PC, but I have it on my Mac. And that's where I have my DAG uh, 
sitting for now until the nodes application goes live because that's my intention i'm going to be running the node for the constellation network if you know i get a chance to do so the uh initial features uh this is what it looks like so you're gonna get your very uh your recovery phrase and you're gonna select the password you can you you can have multiple addresses in one wallet just like you know any other wallet and you can send that or receive that with the QR code. Uh, full transaction history, linking that explorer to each transaction. When you click on a transaction in your activity feed, you can check the status in that explorer, and which will open a new tab in your browser. So some of the features coming soon are here. If you want to, you know, read through it. Uh, one important is authentication. Authenticate for validator node management. So this is going to be very important for those that are going to be running a master node for Constellation. There's a cross-chain compatibility with the Ethereum network. So you can store, transact, and interact with Ethereum ERC-20 tokens. This is the first step to making the Stargazer wallet compatible with multiple chains within the crypto ecosystem. So these are the tutorials if you want to go and check them out on how to use it. Um, so that is that. So the news I was very bullish about and still very bullish about is Constellation signed a US Air Force contract. This was released August 27, 2019. I know this is a, it's been a while, but the Air Force is just part of it because they also said in the video we watched, if you remember, it says the DOD right there, the DOD, right? Department of Defense. Constellation Network signs deal to provide solutions around inoperability between legacy infrastructure and emerging data technology. Um, let's see right here. Multi-domain. Actually, Constellation technology will help securely unlock traditional siloed and non-accessible data and data sources. This is commonly referred to as multi-domain command and control at the U.S. Air Force multi-domain or multi-domain cross-service stakeholders are dispersed disconnected and complicated in the data created by each domain is either non-accessible or requires significant manpower to handle data forensics planning and collection constellation will create a leap in the u.s air force current capabilities with a focus on the agile and operability of both legacy and future data types. It is scalable and secure approach to big data processing while enabling the merging of legacy systems data with existing cloud infrastructure. As such, Constellation provides centralized security not only to Air Force data pip pipelines with encryption, but also creates audit trails in a live overview of the status of any data source. Why am I so bullish on this news? Well, the Air Force has been the pioneer for many, many projects when it comes to technology. So they are the ones that have signed the contract with Constellation. Now, big data is not just the Air Force. Big data is on every branch of the Department of Defense. So there are many big data platforms that each branch has so if constellation is able to prove with the air force that it works and it's working guess what every other branch is going to adapt it as well and that is a huge huge market that they're going to be covering so this is why i'm so bullish about this news that came out back in august of 2019. So I'm um, surprised I was able to cover all this information in this uh, short period of time, but I know I didn't cover everything about Constellation. I hope that this video helped you understand a little bit of what Constellation is and how the layer zero helps scalability in the blockchain. So if you like the video, like the video, share it with your friends, like and subscribe. And until next time, Mr. Blockchain22 out.